hello guys welcome to a new video and in this new video we are going to be configuring flex vpn using hub and spoke and also using um, triple eight authorization and we are also going to be providing the ip addresses of the tunnel for router one router two and router three with the hub and the hub is going to be providing that um, ip address so we're going to um, create a pool of ip addresses for those tunnels so let's go ahead and start with that um, config t and um, the first thing that we need to do since we're going to be using triple a you want to do and start triple a by doing a new model after that um, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and do a triple a authorization network and we're going to be calling this network flex vpn list using the local authorization and after we do that we want to do an IP local pool like I said we're going to have a pool of IP addresses we're going to be calling this flex VPN all in capital pool and this flex VPN pool is going to be from 1.1.1.1 all the way to 1.1.1.10 and after we do that, we want to go into the crypto IP2 authorization policy. We are going to use the default policy. And inside this policy, you want to add that pool of FlexVPN that we created, FlexVPN pool. Okay. After we do that, we want to do a, let's go ahead and exit and do a interface virtual template we're going to call it H it's going to be a type of tunnel and in here you want to do a tunnel mode IPsec um, with IP before tunnel source gigabit zero zero and IP on number they're going to be an IP on number look back eight okay after that we need to go ahead and configure Crypto IV2 carrying. Uh, crypto IV2 keyring. You're going to be calling this IV2 keyring. And inside of here, we need to specify the peer for router one. So we do router one, and then we add the IP address of router one. And then when you want to do a pressure key, the local is going to be CCMP sec. And the pressure key for the remote is also going to be CCMP security. Then we need to go ahead and add router 2, IP address of router 2, 20.1. How we're going to authenticate, or what we're going to be using to authenticate the remote, and how we're going to be using the, um, the key to authenticate the local user. Then we add router 3, IP address 30.1. Remote and local, exit and exit. After that, we want to do the crypto IGV2 um, profile. We're going to be calling this IGV2 profile. And right here, we want to match the identity of the remote user using an IP address 192.1.10.1 for router 1, 192.1.20.1. For router two and that thirty that one for router three, and then you want to do the uh, authentication. It's going to be using a for the local. It's going to be using a pressure key, and also authentication for the remote. It's going to be using a pressure key. Then you want to add the key ring that we created, the local key ring, which we call IGV2 key ring. Also want to add the virtual template H, and then after we do that you want to do the triple h authorization group using a pre-shared key it's going to be called flex vpn list and using the default let's see our triple a group pre-shared key list 
and we name it the list. There you go. Then you want to go ahead and create the crypto IPsec transform set. We're going to call this T set. You're going to use an ESP, AES, 256, ESP, SHA with HMAC. Then we want to create the crypto, um, crypto IPsec profile. We call this IPsec profile, whatever you want to name it. You want to set the transform set to T set. You want to set the IPv2 profile to IPv2 profile. Good, good, good. After that is done, we, all we need to do is go ahead and do the interface virtual template H type tunnel. And here you want to do the tunnel protection IPsec profile. And set it to IPsec profile. Also do IP or SPF 1. The area is going to be 0. Good. And then since um, it's going to be almost the same configuration, you want to do a shell run section crypto and we are going to copy and paste all the configuration from the hub into router 1, router 2, and router 3. And we just need to remove a couple of commands. Copy. Open leave pad or notepad, whatever you want to use. Okay, paste. You want to say that the peer is going to be the hub. IP address of ADL1. Remove the other ones because we're not going to be building a spoke to spoke. It's only going to be hope to spoke. Um, we are not going to be using this, but we need to go ahead and turn on new model. After we do new model, we need to do the triple A authorization authorization network flex VPN list so triple A authorization authorization network flex VPN and then put local looking good looking good then after all that has been configured let's go ahead and remove this and we need to match the hub and i didn't do the local identity so let's go ahead and do the local identity for the hub config g um i it identity local 192.1.80.1 that one, that that one. or oh, address there we go we can go ahead and copy this and let's go ahead and add that right after this one even though it doesn't matter you just want to have it right here and the local identity for what I want is going to be 10 now one good 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 flex VPN list Need to remove this, we're not going to use that. Then we need to go ahead and configure the regular tunnel interface. Um, tunnel source gigabit zero zero tunnel destination. It's going to one two that one that eighty that one and then tunnel mode IP sec with IP before tunnel protection IPsec profile IPsec profile All right and also we need to do an IP IP address negotiate it because we are going to negotiate the IP address um, from the hub and the hub is going to give me that IP address from that um, IP pool that we created. Um, source destination then 
let's do an IP or SPF one area zero so this is looking good let's go ahead and just do it one by one to make sure that it works let's go ahead and do other one config T okay that worked um, so we can just go ahead and copy crypto map agree to profile IPsec transform set and IPsec profile then let's go ahead and do the tunnel pull and loading um, let's go ahead and verify the configuration over here show IP let's just go ahead and do show run section in third base I want to see that to verify I think I forgot to do the profile no the profile is in there okay so that is good show IP interface brief yep access is up show crypto agree to SA it is up and running we want I to that one that's in that one also do the IP sec SA and it's up and running so it is good good and good so router one has been configured let's go ahead into router two config T um, and all we need to do is destination stays the same for the tunnel um, the local identity changes to 20 that one remote identity is the same and all of this is the same triple a new model all of it is the same right all of the yeah all of it stays the same it's just the local identity and the remote um, identity that we need to match there we go up and running let's go ahead and go to the hub so I paint the face brief we have two virtual axes so I agree to SA now we have two SA's one for the router one one for router two um, I, I have to say we have virtual access one for router one and virtual access two for router two. Okay, and we can also do a show where is the crypto connection, crypto engine, or show connection engine. I forgot show engine show crypto. If I remember this show command, show crypto okay, show engine connections active. There we go, and there we go. So that's what I wanted to do. So now all of that is working. Router one, router two. Now let's go ahead and configure router three. Config T. Need to change this to 30, and then all of it stays the same. Yep. Control C, Control V. Doing good. Um, we can go to the hub. So I be interface brief. You see access one, two, and three. Show connections active. Good. Show I could be two SAs. We have three SAs. And show IPsec SA. We have three. And show IPsec detail. You can see all of them in here. So it is working, guys. Good, good, good. And also, if you want to see that we did get the IP address from the hub, you can do a and show IP interface brief. You can see we have one the one the one the one. Router two should have one the one the one the two. Do show IP interface brief. The one the one the one the two. Router three. Do show IP interface brief. One the one the one the three. So that's good. And if you go into the hub and do show IP route, you see we have some static routes. Two one the one, two the one, 
3.1 so that is working as well um, so that's really good and directly connected via virtualx1 2 and 3 let's see if we from router 3 if we add ospf4 router 3 interface gigabyte 01 interface gigabyte 01 IP OSPF 1 area 0 go to the hub so IP route and here we go via OSPF via 1.1.1.3 1 .1 1 .1 via virtual access 3 which is encrypted so um, that is good. So we have configured FlexVPN using a hover spoke, uh, a FlexVPN with the dynamic virtual tunnel interface, which is a hub and spoke, and using triple eight for authorization. So that is really good. We have configured all that. Um, we have, I believe, I have about 60 minutes <laughs> before I go and feed the baby. So let's see if I'm able to configure let's go ahead and configure a clientless remote access VPN from the hub into the ASA so let's go ahead and see if I'm able to um, do that in less than 60 minutes so we're going to plug this in plug management to this one so let's go ahead and we are able um, to do that Am I going to be able to do that? Let's 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 see. Let's go into the ASA. And in this ASA, let's go ahead and do enable config D. The first interface is going to be Giga00. IP address of 30.1.1.2 255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
So instead of zero one, let's go ahead and connect this to zero two. That's what it is. Because zero two is the one that has this configure. And this one has gigabits zero zero. Go back to the ASA. Ping. Now we are able to ping it. Good. So we have all of that configured. Now let's go ahead and configure the ASDN. And we need to provide the ASDN with an IP address. So if we do a IF config interface 0, it's going to be 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2 .2 .2 .2 net mask 255.255.255.0 route add default gateway 2.2.2.1 Let's try to ping it 2.2.2.1 able to ping it so now we have connection now let's go ahead and launch the ASDM 2.2.2.2.1 always trust so the ASDM is working let's go ahead and go back to the ASA and we want to plug this into the web and this one is going to be the inside Right here is going to be the inside. So on the web, this one right here, we need to provide with this IP address. So let's go do a if config interface zero ten dot ten dot forty dot two net mask two by five two by five two by five zero route add default gateway. 10.10.40.1 ping 10.10.40.1 the ping won't work because we have to configure the ASA and this one is 0 slash 1 IP address 10.10.40.1 name if inside now we shut down and now we should be able to ping it from the web there we go we have connectivity so that's good let's go ahead and go into the ASDN always trust allow we don't have a username and password so we're just going to click OK Then I'll show this again. So that's good. We have connection. Also, let me go ahead and go into the ASA and see if I'm able to ping 10.10.30.1. I am unable to ping 10.10.30.1. And I believe this is because the hub doesn't know. Well, the hub has a connection. Let's go ahead and do show run. Route to outside. 30.1.1.1. So all of it, we're going to send it down here and then down here. So let's go ahead, I think it's going to be the ISP that doesn't know how to get there. So let's go ahead and go open this, the ISP, and from here, config T IP route to 30, that one, that one, that zero. I want you to send it to 192, that one, that 80, that one. Let's see if we're able to ping now. Good, now we're able to ping. We also, on this ISP, also add another route, which is going to be 10.10.40.0. OK, 
Okay, so that's good. Good, good, good. So now let's go ahead and configure that clientless um, remote access VPN from the AZM. The way you do that, we are going to go into the wizard so we can do it faster because I have seven minutes. So site to site clientless as a VPN. Next, we're going to just say this new. It's going to be the outside certificate. We're not going to certificate. Username, Oscar, Cisco, Cisco. Next, policy, new policy, bookmarks. We are going to add a new one. We're just going to go to bookmarks. Add it. Yes. And then this one is going to be called a web website. And the IP address of the website is 10.10.40.2. Okay. 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 Next. And here we go. Finish. Save it. Let's verify my configuration remote access VPNs. Let's go ahead into the client SSL profile. Verify that it's. Um, assigned for the outside interface policy new pool let's go ahead and go into the group policy new policy client list and I have assigned that Oscar to it so that is working good so now what we need to do is I'm going to remove that one and I want to add a browser so I so if I add a browser I'm going to be able to access that website from the client list as a VPN. And it's going to be called web term. Turn it on. Let's go ahead and configure an IP address. Which is going to be 10 .10 10 .10 if config interface 0 10 10 so 10 10 30 2 and the net mass is going to be slash 24. Then route add default k weight 10.10.30.1. Let's try to pin my default k weight 10.10.30.1. And I have connectivity. So since I have connectivity, let's see if I'm able to connect to this website right here. Um, so it's going to be HTTPS. Or actually, I have to connect to the ASA, which is 30.1.1.2. It is saying that it's not secure. That's fine. Advanced. That's because we don't have any digital certificate. Confirm the exception. There we go. The login is Oscar. Password is Cisco. And there we go. So here's the bookmark that I created for the client list as VPN. Click on that website, and it takes me to the network networker's toolkit. And if I want to... Um, edit this website I can go ahead and do that too um, so if we go into web 4 and if we do a CD I believe it's var www HTML and do an anno index that HTML and over here we can go ahead and the h1 the header and let's say Welcome to Web Web Four, which is behind the ASA. Control X, yes X. Mm -hmm. Now let's go ahead into this web term, and let's go ahead and reload the website. There we go. 
welcome to web forward which is behind the ASA so I was able to configure that client as a VPN um, in like what 10 minutes something like that so that's good so in this video guys um, I always try to push it for more um, like always so in this video you learn how to configure flex VPN how in spoke configuration configuration using a triple A authorization and we also added a IP local or a local or IP local pool where the routers um, had or acquire the IP address of their tunnel from the hub and they were able to configure and get the hub and spoke configuration using Ike version 2 and then after that I just went and went ahead and configured the ASA from scratch configure the ASDM log into the ASDM configure that client as a VPN and we were able to reach it from the web term all the way to over here so this is it for this video guys I hope you guys enjoy this video and this is it for this video and if you guys want to go ahead and follow me on Twitter if you have a Twitter account at TCNA Daily Tips and if you don't have a Twitter account go ahead and create one and then follow me on Twitter also go ahead and like this um, video and subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching I love you and I'll see you in the next one